Hello, my name is Kim Cooper. I'm an abstract contemporary painter. I'm here with the residency at Grow, and my residency dates will be October 31st to December 4th in Creative Greensboro. Grow, or the Greensboro Residency for Original Works, is a new flex space here at the Greensboro Cultural Center, right inside the Davy Street entrance of the building. Uh, it's an 800 square foot flex space for creative programs that are being offered by individuals or nonprofit organizations from Greensboro's creative community. My name is Kim Cooper, and I'm a contemporary abstract painter. Um, my medium is acrylic and oil, but I use a lot of found materials. By that I mean I use yarn, I use bark, um, I use buttons, um, I use whatever I feel is going to make my painting come alive. My passion is art, and I like to tell the story of the Afro-American. So my residency will center on the journey of the enslavement of the Afro-American from 1619 and how we've progressed as a people. Um, from 1619 all the way up to the present. So my residency will combine a lot of the past in my paintings um, using acrylic oil and found materials, but I'm also bringing in Afro-Americans from the present by having them do hip hop um, workshops, by having people, um, by bringing in singers and dancers. So I hope that the community can really get involved in my residency because it is a community endeavor. Um, I'm also going to do a sip and paint. Um, I'm going to uh, do uh, the Afro-American experience through a sip and paint, no alcohol, but just people coming in and you know following my lead as far as painting is concerned. I'm also having visiting artists come in and they're going to do workshops, um, acrylic and oil painting. Um, I'm also going to do a live drawing of this artist called um, Debbie the Artist, she comes from Charlotte and she sings um, folk songs on the Afro-American experience, so she'll be coming during um, First Friday. I'm also currently an art teacher, so I'm gonna have students at my middle school come and do a colorful mosaic of the Afro-American journey um, representing our school. Basically, being an Afro-American woman, I want them to understand the trials and tribulations of um, black people in America everywhere and I want them to, uh, to try to identify why we think that black lives matter. Um, it's not to isolate any particular cultural um, populace but for them to identify with everything that we've gone through that we really built America and we want people, I want to take the community along with me on this journey and I think it's very important that you understand the start of it from 1619 all the way now. And I will be producing 10 paintings that will take you on this ride. And I really would like to know your input on that and I hope that you enjoy what I produce for you. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Kim Cooper Art, K-Y-M Cooper Art. And that's the only account that I have. So <laughs> you can follow me on Instagram and you can see a lot of my folk art and my journey of the Afro-American woman and Afro African-Americans in general.